Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movie 7 here, bringing you another Elgato test video. And today I'm playing Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the PlayStation 3. There is a buttload of new content in this game, of which I will go over in this video as best I can. This has all the international content brought over from the Japanese PS2 version of the game, so there's new shit aplenty. Uh, new bosses, plenty of new bosses actually. You fight a whole bunch, actually every single Aeon of yours, but the dark version of... Also, a, a new super boss known as Penance, who I've actually never fought yet before. I'm still trying to work on that on my Vita file I have. Um, I still need to beat Dark Yojimbo uh, that, that five times, and also the Dark Mages Sisters. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. But anyway, this video will probably be shorter than my previous one, just because, I mean, I know how it'll look by and large. So... Yeah, this video will just be showing up a few battles, explaining how some things work here and there, but nothing too major. More so, it's an actual video quality test than anything else, but that's... Well, you guys know that already. So, if I can, I want to fight a few battles around here. Um, only Piranha around here for right now. They're pretty easy to deal with. But there we go. One thing I will say, I love the screen shattering effect there for the transition to battles. It's pretty damn sick there, I will say. Also, you may notice here, too, we have the uh, new soundtrack for this. Well, orchestrated now. Sounds a lot better, in my opinion, than the original. Although, apparently, also, in the uh, PS4 version of the game, you're actually given an option to either use the um, default soundtrack, like the original one, or the uh, new orchestrated one. Um, and I do like both. Um, but, yeah, for in my case, doing the PS3 version, I only have the new version available, which is totally fine with me. And I say that as I talk over the entire song. My bad. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just fight just a couple battles around here to show off how it works. It's pretty simple for right now. We have a, a mystery character along with us um, for right now. She is able to throw grenades. I'm not sure where she pulls them out of. Also, not sure why piranhas have them readily available, but it's an RPG, so we'll just work with it. But, you know, fighting a few battles here mainly because I want to show off the uh, the main leveling system of the game, known as the Sphere Grid. Um, it. What's funny, at first, when we first played this game way back when, the Sphere Grid sounded extremely complicated, actually. But then when you delve into it, it's really quite easy to pick up. But there is a lot of shit to do on it, as you'll see here in a minute or so. It's pretty damn big. And also, new in the international version of the game, you actually have... Well, I'll fight one more battle there. Anyway, um... Yeah, new in the international version, you actually have two different Sphere Grids to choose from. You have the normal one where each character starts in their own little section of the grid that they pass along through as you level up and stuff, right? But then after a while you reach the end, you can use what's known as key spheres to um, unlock uh, what's called nodes on the sphere grid to let you progress farther into other people's sections. Whereas now, in the international version of the game, you have, well, the international sphere grid, where everyone pretty much starts in a localized area, and you can pretty much go wherever you want from the get-go. There's still some nodes that you'll have to unlock across the way, but yeah, again, you'll see it here in a second after this battle. I mainly wanted to do this just to pick up a quick level, that's all. Hey, there we go, a sphere level, that's what they're called, by the way. I'm mainly going over tutorial stuff here just because maybe people haven't played the game before, but whatever. So here's me. Um, I named Titus, that's the main character, and yeah, I say Titus, I've heard that, I've heard Titus, blah, 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 I don't care what's right or wrong, okay? Not in a fret about that. It's a name pronunciation. Deal with it. But anyway, I forget where Titus actually starts exactly on his grid. Pretty much well, around here, I believe. Now, normally, if you're playing the on the normal grid, he would start right around here, and then you just go work your way up from here into his main grid, right? But what I like to do, actually, with every character, is have them clear out this center area right here where everyone starts. There's a good balance of skills here and also stats as well. I mean, good strength, HP, defense, stuff like that. But essentially how the sphere grid works is that, see, I have one sphere level there, right? I can move one node forward. Or if I wanted to, I can move up to four nodes backwards if I really wanted to there. But for right now, I want to just move forward just to right there. Even though it's a blank spot there, so I actually don't get any stats. Also how those work, by the way. Say, like, if I were on this node right here, um, you can activate nodes adjacent to you. So, like, I could use an ability sphere to activate that ability, which I would inv I would then learn. Or I could also use a, a power sphere right there to activate that. A power spheres activate strength and defense nodes, and also HP. Um, and they have ability spheres for all the various abilities. 
I didn't, uh, let's just see it here. We have Amanda Spheres to unlock magic defense and magic, and then Speed Spheres for agility and evasion, stuff like that. So pretty simple by and large. But yeah, I, I find it so funny. It was so complicated at, at first, but then you pick it up. It's like, oh, this is really easy. But I mean, also, I was like 12 when the game came out, so cut me some slack. But anyway, yeah, one of the reasons why I like having everyone go in this section, not only for the stat gains here, but you make your way down here, you have everybody with Cure and Asuna, and also a nice little uh, Strength plus 3 node right over there. So that can be really, really good for your physical fighters, actually, so pretty much like everybody will end up going for that sooner or later. So there's that, a mystery character, we can show off her grid right now, we can't really do a whole lot with it, because she takes forever to level up. So by and large, yeah, you're not gonna get a level for her while training here. You're so loud, Crassus. But anyway, yeah, there's items here. Pretty uh, pretty standard stuff here, by and large. One thing that's nice, too, about the Piranhas here, they drop every type of sphere, by the way. So if you overkill them, so that means you do, like, an amount of HP of damage, like, greater than their total. Each, each, each enemy has, like, a set amount of HP that it's needed for an overkill. Crassus' loud barking is really bothering me right now, making me stutter. It's, I don't know why, but it's stupid. Yeah, there's our equipment there, key items. I got these earlier in the first part of the game, so never worry, never mind about that. Um, abilities here, steal and use for the mysterious girl, uh, cheer and jinx for Titus there. Um, overdrive, I didn't really show it off right now, but that's pretty much your limit break by and large. Um, status, you know how that works. Config, if you want to change anything. Um, I pretty much leave these alone for the most part, although Aeons, eventually, I'll probably turn them to short. Once I get to the LP itself, but what I will do for that, I'll leave them. Well, I'll I'll leave them default at first. So like the first time I summon each Aeon, right, you see the full animation. But then after that, you don't need to see the same animation over and over and over again. So at that point, I'll just put it back to short. And the help menu, if you so need. But yeah, by and large, I'm okay with that. But yeah, anyway, so this version of the game is what I I will definitely be LP in the future. Um, it's still going to be quite a ways off yet, but still, um, there you go. Uh, that should be all I need to go over, actually. Just showing off a little scene we'll here. As as you're ready. And yeah, one thing, too, I will try my best to not talk over the uh, voice cutscenes. I'm sure there will be times where I'll mess up on that, so forgive me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and save up here real quick on my one save file. Yeah, I really haven't played the PS3 version as much if I, as I play the uh, the Vita version. I mean, a game like this on a handheld, I eat that shit up. And not, well, not literally. That sounds gross, but you know what I mean. Okay, and with that, guys, that will take care of this test video. Um, I have one more in mind. Uh, I'm not sure what game I'll do yet, although I'll give you guys a little hint. It will be a Tales of game, and of which, well, I have four of them. On my PS3 right now, I have Tales of Zillia, Tales of Symphonia 1, and Symphonia 2, and also um, Tales of Graces F. So it could be any number of those. Um, I haven't de decided which one yet. I'll let you guys, if you want to try to guess as to which one, or try to predict which one, which one it'll be. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Also, this video, I didn't say it would go for very long. It's already eight, eight and a half minutes, but nah, whatever. Okay, so yeah, I'll wrap it up here, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Feedback is greatly appreciated. Uh, one thing of note, real quick before I go. I saw in the last video there, there was some just little, uh, like a border of black space around the video. I mean, I'm sure I could fix that with video editing, but I don't really care. It's not that huge of a deal. So, I mean, no one even mentioned it last video anyhow. So, I mean, I just felt like it was worth mentioning just to, ha just to have it out in the open. But yeah, by and large, I, I don't care about that. You can see the video more than fine. Um, oh, I got a message just now. I'll deal with that later. But yeah, there you go. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that there. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next test video for a Tales of game. And with that, this has been Mr. Moves 87 signing off. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.